द नारायणपुर इंसिडेंट बाय शशि देश पांडे बाबू एंड मंजू फाइंड देमसेल्स पार्ट ऑफ द क्विट इंडिया मूवमेंट व्हेन देयर फादर इज पुट बिहाइंड बार्स एंड देयर ब्रदर मोहन बिकम्स इन्वॉल्व इन द मूवमेंट इन द स्मॉल टाउन ऑफ नारायणपुर Babu decides to watch a procession that Mohan is taking part in and takes Manju with him. People are already lining the roads. Manju and Babu find a good spot to watch. Soon, they saw the procession with policemen walking in front and next to the students. But the students marched in complete silence as if the police didn't exist. When the procession reached the gates of the collector's office they shouted Mahatma Gandhi ki jai handed the DSP a letter and briskly marched back the way they had come Mohan explained later to a disappointed Babu and Manju it was planned this way they expected us to be violent so that they could beat us haul us away to jail instead we served a notice asking them to quit India and left in silent protest that night mohan's friends staggered in with a large parcel which turned out to be a cyclo styling machine mohan instructed babu as they settled down to work keep watch and warn us if you see anything babu sat alert and attentive suddenly he saw a man riding a bike stopping right outside their gate Babu flung himself inside. Someone's coming. There was a knock on the door. It was Patil, the sub inspector. He said, "There's going to be a search of your house later tonight. I heard the sahibs talking of a cyclo styling machine and people hiding here. It seems you people are making copies of the Mahatma speech." "No, you're wasting your time," said Mohan angrily. Where is the cyclo styling machine? Inside. Amma replied simply and Mohan burst out, "Amma, how can you trust a policeman?" The policeman said, "I am a policeman. Yes, but this is my country as much as it is yours and your father was my school friend. Give it to me quickly." Amma said to the others, "You have to get away. Take away all the material." And then they were gone. The house seemed unbelievably quiet. Let's go to bed, Amma suggested. Later that night, there was a loud knock at the door, followed by a strange voice ordering, "Open the door." There was no need for Mohan to announce, "Amma, it's the police."